What is centripetal acceleration? Why is centripetal acceleration directed radially inwards? Why is centripetal force called the center seeking force? And what is the total acceleration on a body in an angular motion? Let's begin. As we know that at every instant, the velocity of a tennis ball undergoing angular motion is tangent to the circle, just like we have discussed in the couple of videos back. Let's say we have a velocity vector at the first instant, v1. After some time, velocity vector is v2 and at other intervals, let it be v3 and v4. Let's say that the magnitude of velocity remains constant which means that the magnitude of velocity equals magnitude of velocity vector v1, which equals magnitude of the velocity v2, which equals v3 and v4. And even if the magnitude of velocity is constant, that means speed is constant. But the velocity is still changing because velocity is a vector quantity and, and it changes by a mere fact that the direction changes and as the direction of the tennis ball is constantly changing, which means there is change in velocity. Let's find the direction of delta v. Using the graphical method, trace v2 to the tail of v1, then delta v vector would give us change in velocity, which is mere change in direction. Same is true for velocity vectors v3 and v4. Note that the change in velocity delta v is directed towards the center of the circle. As we know that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, which means acceleration equals delta v over delta t. And as delta v is direct, directed radially inwards, so the direction of velocity is also radially inward. And this acceleration, just like we have discussed, is the centripetal acceleration. As acceleration is the rate of change of velocity and in the direction of velocity, so then the centripetal acceleration is also directed towards the center of the circle or the axis of rotation. But what is meant by the word radially? Radially means along the radius and as the centripetal acceleration is directed towards the center along the radius of the circular path, so centripetal acceleration is sometimes referred to as radial acceleration. So don't get confused if someone uses the term radial acceleration instead. It's just a fancy word for centripetal acceleration. According to Newton's second law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration. Same as the centripetal force equals mass times centripetal acceleration. And the centripetal acceleration is directed radially inward. And the centripetal force is directed radially inward too, along the direction of radial acceleration. One last thing before we wind up and that is that as we have discussed couple of videos back that any body in angular motion undergoes two types of accelerations simultaneously. First is the tangential acceleration which is responsible for the change in magnitude of velocity and second is the centripetal acceleration which changes the direction continuously. As these both accelerations are not directed in the same direction which means that the total acceleration would be somewhere here. This total acceleration can be easily found by using these two accelerations with the help of Pythagoras theorem. Let's trace tangential acceleration here to form a right angle triangle. Then the hypotenuse would give us the total acceleration that is total acceleration squared equals tangential acceleration squared plus centripetal acceleration squared. If the magnitude of velocity remains same, then the tangential acceleration would be zero and the total acceleration would be equal to the centripetal acceleration. In this video, we came to know about the direction of centripetal acceleration and force. But what is the magnitude of centripetal acceleration and force? All explained in our next video. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more such short and crisp educational videos. And also, Find us on social media platforms at Smartitude Official.